What is up guys, I'm Atari here back with a brand new series, so welcome to Surviving the Aftermath. This was suggested uh, by a viewer of ours in the community. So yeah, I decided to take a look at it. And just a heads up, I am not playing this via Steam. I am playing this in the Epic Games Store. And uh, yeah, mainly because it went free like weeks and I think many months ago. So I got it. Uh, I got it for free, <laughs> so there's that. But yeah, uh, also just a disclaimer, I, I did start actually recording a while ago, but then my PC just decided to shut down by itself for some reason. So it went green screen and yada yada yada. So now we're just going to make a new game, normal game, prologue, I mean you guys can, you know, uh, what do you call this, you can pause the video and just read it for yourselves. Uh, I'll be daring, I'll turn tutorial off <laughs> let's see let's see how far we'll go without tutorials so the the what do you call this what i chose a while ago was uh this one uh this one and then this one and then uh this one and then the first one and i'm not sure if this matters or not but let's go ahead and Yeah, let's go Gloriosa. How about that? Continue. Oh, I can pick two. Oh. Oh, I didn't know that. I mean, if you have experience playing this game, who do you guys choose? I'm I'm curious. But for now, I'll just choose Gloriosa and uh, Fritz. So we have a fighter and a scavenger. Continue. Uh, I'll just do what I did a while ago. So, sky blue, and then let's do let's do the tiger. How about that, yeah, sky blue looks better. Yeah, sky blue. Then the tiger. Continue. I'm really bad at naming. You know, let's just go Radscliff. Sure. Colony motto: Endure and overcome. Let's go. I like that. Continue, let's start a game. Alright. So let me just pause right here. So the difference between, I just want to get this out of the way because, you know, it might show up eventually. The difference between playing in Epic Games and playing in Steam or on Steam, uh, when we get achievements, Steam will, uh, you know, pop their achievements right here, lower right. But for Epic Games, it will broadcast your achievement right here at dead center. So from time to time, you know, when we hit some achievements here and there, we'll have some rice, you know, have some pop over there. So anyways, now that's out of the way. Here's our settler. That's only one guy. Everyone starts somewhere. The world in ruins things once considered mundane are hard to find and habitable land is no exception a settler has finally found a spot for a new colony with a place to call home it is time for a new beginning welcome to the aftermath survivor so yeah we have to build a campsite to mark the center of the new colony and start uncovering the surrounding area so while we're still at pause, I'd like to move the campsite like Yeah, so I can't build far off right here, but I can face it like right here. I'll have the campsite over there. So let's go ahead and speed through that. Again, let's pause that. Let's look at our surroundings. From the looks of it, we only have one place to defend. So that's through here. Uh, unless they attack by water, I hope not. And I mean by they, I feel like uh, only bandits is the, you know, the bad things here. I don't expect there's to be zombies or anything like that. I could be wrong. 
haven't played that far into the game yet. Uh, let's go ahead and click this. There are survivors waiting for a signal from the settler. They are cold and hungry, yet willing to work should the colony take care of them in return. They can be invited in right away or later in case the settlement needs more time to prepare. So yeah, so we can invite them right now by shooting the flare or we can just continue preparing, which I'll do. Well, let's continue preparing because we, we need to set up the tents and everything. So let's build two tents because they are free. Uh, let's have them probably face the center here. So let's go ahead and do... Like so, and then another one right here. Let's also build the stockpile. So the stockpile, I feel like, will just, I don't know, place it maybe here beside the, uh, this one. What's this one? Campsite. There you go. Also the food storage. Since there's food over there, we can just build food storage over here oh so we also have food right here okay then we can also build a well uh, maybe I can build the well right like right here again I'm not so sure about the placements feel free to comment down below if you know if placements really matter in this game because i know in dawn of man it really does now so i'm really looking forward as well to uh what do you call this to the next uh campaign so let's have that uh, that's pollution there's no pollution there so maybe i can have it like right like so survivors waiting for a signal from the settler they are okay let's shoot the flare now because we need some stuff gathered and whatnot so yeah your first colonists have arrived prompted by the signal flare the rest of the group arrives at the prepared campsite despite all the hardship ahead it's time to rebuild and turn this hostile place into a home We've reached a milestone. Hey, first settlers, let's go. So we got more people needing homes, so let's go ahead and do that. But first, let's gather this as well. Oh, there's pollution over there. All right, then maybe let's just stick to here first. How about that. Let's have it face the other way. As much as I want to put it like right here, like as soon as they finish gathering this, I'll just put it on this other side right here. So recycler, let's have it like so. And then let's build some tents. have tents like that five colonists are homeless yes I know I know we're building more don't worry water production is at eight so I feel like we need the one more well Let's have one more well. I mean, it is green everywhere, so I feel like we can just build like a well. Oh, it can't interfere with the other well? Yeah, it looks like it. So let's just go have a well over. Oh, I don't know, maybe here?
Insufficient construction materials for... Oh yeah, we don't have plastic, but we're gathering plastic. Let's add one more person there. Let's put wood here. Let's put plastics. Let's put... Yeah, let's let's just put those for for now. <laughs> we don't we're not putting anything. In, uh, we're not gathering anything yet. I mean, other materials yet. Berries. What else can you put here? Sure. Actually, what does this mean? Infinitely gather that and infinitely gather that. How about that. Again, I'm not so sure what that means. <laughs> Hopefully I'm doing it right. Hopefully. Yes. Where is she? Oh, she's there. Oh, that's her. And she's a gatherer, right? Scavenger, yeah. So she can go ahead and scavenge that. Ready. Oh, what's this? The colonists are taken aback as an unfamiliar face appears in the middle of the colony, seemingly out of the blue. Before the colonists have time to raise their pitchforks, the woman speaks up. Lower your weapons. I am no intruder, but just looking for food and shelter. We had a small camp to the north of here, but got separated while running away from those space rocks. Is my brother here already by any chance? He can certainly vouch for us. His brother ain't here. <laughs> but I feel like in the beginning, we still need more colonists, so as soon as we can house them, it's fine. So let's take them in. Let's go. They're grateful. Regardless, the colony defense. There is always a need for helping hands, of course, especially those who are already know the area. The grateful few are taken in without any further questions, regardless, the colony defenses should perhaps be updated. Yeah, we should we should build that. So I believe that's in uh here, the gate. So let's go ahead and build that. Uh do people need housing? That can occupy three occupants. So that's 15. We have 14. Let's just build. Why not? Let's build one more. So in comparison with the uh in comparison with Dawn of Man, I feel like this is I feel like this is way more laid back. I'm sorry I had to pause there, I just had to burp. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like this is more laid back for some reason. Like the I don't know, the feel of it, the vibe of the game is just giving me laid back feelings, <laughs> if that makes sense. And like with Dawn of Man, I don't know, for some reason I just feel the pressure of it or something like that. But it's still fun nonetheless, don't get me wrong. It's like a Dawn of... Uh, no, not Dawn of Man. It's like a Going Medieval. It's like what I want to say. Mainly, main, maybe because in Dawn of Man we had a campaign scenario. So, you know, we had goals to finish in time. Unlike with this one, we're just really... Testing it out as well. Again, if you're highly knowledgeable about this game, please do let me know in the comment section. Like, you know, give me tips. Don't spoon feed me everything. Just give me small tips here and there to, you know, get better at the game, understand the game better. Like, maybe with the placings of the well, where should I have it near? Like, should it be near the houses or should it be near? storage areas or just campsite whatever you know just again let me know let me know in the comments below allowed resources berries depleted what do you mean 
There's still more berries over there. Optal infected. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. But nothing's. Damn it. Not everybody is equally skilled in the art of building, but one of the colonists seems extraordinarily bad at it. Well, we have no other choice. <laughs> we don't have the wood, so we'll just leave it be. Poor foundations. What can we do? Oh, that's 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 not good. <laughs> that's not good. There's well, there's a well bear. How do how can what? Reporting it. How? So I can't water it. What's up? Yeah, from the looks of it, this guy is just a. Uh... Yep. I I don't know how to extinguish that. Oh, here, repair. Again, I don't have. Damn it. Oh, is that why? I haven't been doing this. Because <laughs> I feel like a total bonehead if I didn't do that. Yeah, they were just gathering stuff. Okay, that's what I did wrong then. How about the wood? Are they out of wood already? They are. That was fast. There, gather more wood over there. Okay. Okay. What I said a while ago, I take it back. Now I'm feeling the pressure. <laughs> Speaking of, we can make uh, lumber camps, I feel like. Lumber yard. Workers at the lumber yard go and cut trees in the designated area to turn into wood. And we'll need wood. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's do like so. Two colonists are infected. Insufficient materials. Why? What do we need for it? Just wood. Which we should pick up from there. Uh, aside from that, we also need a trapper. Now, I can build a trapper over here. I feel like this is a safe area for a trapper. I, I don't know why I lost voice there. This is a safe area for a trapper. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and plop it down right here. And let's just speed it. Speed through it. The way spells. It's about to blow. What does that mean? Two colonists are injured. Build a medical facility to cure your conditions. Medical facility. Medical tent. Yeah, I certainly am feeling the pressure right now. Let's have the tent here in the center as well of everything. <laughs> Yeah, what I said a while ago, nah, that now I feel the pressure. Congratulations. You've rebuilt the gate and gained access to the world map. The gate is now open and the vast world stands ready for your specialists to explore. This progress has not gone unnoticed though. Soon, your colony will begin attracting various folks. Some good, others desperate, some tricksters. And those who just want to see you destroyed. So there we have it. We have to arm the gate with colonists or keep some specialists, like we have one, close by to defend yourself from the inevitable raids. We've reached a milestone. So that's this guy, right? Uh, how do I do I just put him there? There are survivors at the gate. Oh, survivors. Ragged bunch shuffles slowly towards the gate. Oh, then we get the specialist as well. So scientist. Seven action points, nine damage, scavenge hundred percent health. 
I feel like scientists right now they got supplies though we need the supplies so I guess it's smart to accept ain't no way I'll reject that yeah that's what I meant see this is gonna plop in the middle uh -huh. so you're the scientist Distress signal. Hold on, hold on. A lot is happening. A lot is happening. We need to build more tents. He constructed a medical tent as well. Are we still gathering food? As we should. Okay, people are building stuff. Was that shower? They need a shower. Hmm? Oh. Ready. What's up? Can I put bring oh I can, okay. Wood depleted, that's fine. Alright, let's see what this is all about. A colonist has managed to get a small amateur radio project up and running. She sets up a small dipole antenna and starts to turn it around systematically in all directions. I feel like this is what Going Medieval is, you know, wants to do for their game. I mean Foxy you know <laughs> Foxy Voxel. I feel like this is what they want to do with going medieval. There are certain quests within the game that you want to achieve, you know, to get like bonus resources and whatnot. That's kind of cool. Now I'm looking forward to seeing that in going medieval. All right, let's investigate the source. Okay, that's cool, cool, cool. People are dying, not so cool. You're very, I think, the place some workers there uh, what else do we need burial pit yep that's what we need <laughs> uh, I feel like we should place this somewhere far from the colony or something uh, maybe like right here Are they still gathering? Are they? I don't think they are. 22 out of 74. We'll hold on to that for now. Because we can also gather from here. Insufficient construction materials. Why would we need? production limit again let's just set it at is there an infinity because we always need wood right uh 999 okay okay so for now let's just maybe place it at 100 because apparently there's no infinity button to it i feel like or maybe there is i just yeah, no, there's none. <laughs> so yeah, let's do 100. People are now thirsty. I am negative 10 on the water. What? Okay, how about let's do this. Water collector. Yes, that's what I wanted to... There's no space. Needs to be on the shore. This is the shore. Medium efficiency. High efficiency, I saw that. How is that high efficiency when it's just 68? But this is medium and that's 70. 
That doesn't make sense. But yeah, it says hi, let's trust it. Let's go ahead and do that. So we can get the water. We can also put here. I guess that was a mistake by placing this here. I should have placed like that there. Maybe we place a water collector. Now we can get the water, I feel like. Maybe we can place some more here. Yeah, look at that. 100%. Kinda odd, it's near the burial pit. But... Yeah, that's fine. That's fine for now. That will do. From the looks of it, we can also go there. Colony Prestige. What else can we build? Decoratives. What does the decorative provide? Does it give like beauty or something? Colony Banner Stand, Waving Cat. Burner. Requires firewood. Oh, during winters, huh? Basic hygiene, right? So we also need this. Okay. Maybe we can put some right here. Left behind the uh, medical tent. It's about three. Two colonists are fighting. Why are you guys fighting? The fight suddenly breaks out in the colony. The two colonists are swiftly separated and questioned about the disagreement. Apparently, one colonist has constantly provoked the other, who finally snapped and threw the first punch. The colonists, even though bloodied and bruised, won't stop glaring at each other. Punish the instigator, punish the aggressor. Give them medicine. What is the right thing to do here? You know, let's give them medicine. <laughs> Look at that, happiness. A few colonists slap a pack of medicine in both of their hands and tell them to patch up and get back to work. This is hardly the time to get into fights like this. The colony seems to be happy with this, though a couple of people mutter how the culprit should have been punished more harsh. All right, then. Then, yeah, let's, let's, just, let's just settle with that. That's what we did, that's what we chose. What? What's with the shovel? What does that mean? Again, for the production limit, let's go ahead and do 100 for now. This one is incurring a lot of water as well as this one so what's the purpose of the well then maybe it just provides a little bit of water but this one provides many water i guess i'm not entirely sure clean water storage of course we will we'll need some of these let's go ahead and build them right like right here maybe Oh, that would have been perfect. That would have been perfect. I'll go ahead and demolish this. <laughs> okay, so right now we're break even and what the? What the heck was that? What the H? <laughs> Did my eyes deceive me? <laughs> I saw some meteor, I guess. The, what the heck was that? So yeah, I didn't see this, but yeah, there's a... Of course, the greener the area is, the efficiency is better, but again, it's super far away. 
So let's go ahead and put... Maybe here is okay. Eight. Yeah, eight. Sure. Let's put one there. I saw eight. I saw eight. No, that was six. Eight. Two colonists are... What the heck does that mean? <laughs> Irradiated? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I know what that means. Yeah, no. I feel like this game is... Okay, now I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the game now. Venison there. Not gathering stuff there anymore, so we'll move it towards here. Gather that. Mm -hmm. So repair that. We have nice. We have plastic, don't we? We don't. Should I build more? Yeah. You know what? I'll build more. I feel like that's how it is. That's how it should go. Now, question is where is it? Recycler? Let's go ahead and build a recycler over here. Why not? And then I saw a forester. So I feel like this should be near this, right? So they can plant and, you know, they can plant at the same time, destroy this first, sorry. They can plant and at the same time harvest trees. So let's go ahead and make a forester. We've reached a milestone. Milestone reach, let's go. And then let's build the water well to where it says eight. But it says 8 here at the back. You know what? 7 is fine. Let's just build the water well there. Oh, it says 8 over there. Nice. <laughs> build more shelters. Two for now is okay. Yep, we're, we're building a shelter. Hold on. Construction update. We have 16 adults that aren't doing anything. small amateur radio project up and running. She sets up a small dipole antenna and starts to turn it around systematically in all directions. Okay, surprisingly during one rotation the radio picks up a faint signal for anyone listening, not much left. The creature's assistance. Okay, there's creatures now. Okay, I just thought they were just bandits. The antenna points up to a general direction where the broadcast is coming from. Also, it can't come too far away or a small setup wouldn't have picked up the signal at all. Find the source of transmission. Abandon quest. Yo. 
that's a very eerie picture. Pandemic. The first signs of pandemic are upon us. At first, it's just a cough, but then the fever picks up, people start dropping like flies, and the colony grinds to a halt. Now, it's a question of how quickly you react. Several staff medical facilities can nullify it almost completely, but it, but if left unchecked, it spreads like wildfire. Pandemics come in waves, infecting colonists, untreated colonists will eventually die. The disease dehydrates the body, increasing colony water consumption. Build enough medical facilities to treat the infected. Gather antibiotics to speed up process. Got it. So we are in a pandemic. Is this the de-stress call? Nope, that's another event. Stumbling in the dark, a team of scouts have ventured a little too far and a little too carelessly. They have spotted a car among a patch of forest that appears to be in rather good shape. Unfortunately, they are not alone in making this discovery. A pack of wolf-like beings... Holy crap, there are werewolves here? <laughs> a pack of wolf-like beings has taken an interest in the team and are now following their every move with hunger in their eyes. The question remains, is it worth the risk to push through to see what the vehicle has to offer? Return back to Colin to distract the wolves with food, try to dash to the car. Can we... I mean, we still have food and we're hunting food. I feel like we can distract the wolves to see what's inside the car. Because we never know. It is in good shape, so there might be stuff we need inside. Let's go ahead and do that. We got fuel. <laughs> Using their lunch as a distraction, the party approaches the car slowly. They leave the food at a safe distance and ner nervously await the wolf's reaction. The bees growl at the intimidated team, but turn their attention to fight for the scraps amongst themselves. The colonies are left free to roam and shortly return to the colony with everything that could be taken from the taken apart from the car so we got minus 25 food which is fine we still have 54 we got 10 happiness which is nice poor sheltering stuff on the ground i'm sorry and then 25 fuel i don't know what the fuel is for yet but we'll find out eventually so we need more plastics wooden ruins is there a way for us to uh, actually, like what we said a while ago, we are in pandemic mode, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and build another tent like there. Time before catastrophe strikes, so we got 14 hours. Oh yeah, because is yeah, is there any way to get rid of the pollution? A simple heater, no. Logging camp, no. Lumber yard. Firewood. Oh, we don't need that. We don't need that yet. I don't think. Not yet. But yeah, then we'll need this, the burner, because it requires firewood to heat up everyone. Fishing pier. That's what we also needed. Fortunately, there's no... Yeah, this is causing pollution. So I feel like we should destroy this. <laughs> Sorry about that. And let's just place it like somewhere else near that. Yeah, see now this is polluted. Damn it. I should have known better. Our oh, radiation is going away. That's fine. Damn that radiation. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, fishing pier. Needs to be on the shore. How does it need to look like? Oh, I see. Like that. Yeah, that's high efficiency, so let's go ahead and do that again for the burial. Uh, burial pit. 
Maybe you can just place it here. Beside whatever that is. Since that's also polluted and that caused pollution. All good now, symptoms are gone. Nice. Again, let's make this 100 because we do need a lot of plastics, looks like it. Our water's up, our food should be up very soon. Let's speed it up here. I think I'm gonna throw up. Aren't you getting healed? You are. Poor shelter. What do you mean? <laughs> it's like we have any other choice, we don't. Go ahead and build some more of that. Pandemic. Is this the end? Here we go. We're at pandemic. It's not the end, Eleanor. We still have water, which is good. Two colonists are irradiated. Irradiated. Waiting for an available worker. So we're maxing out on the mm -hmm. people then. I feel like we should. Mm -hmm. I can't take it out. Oh. I can't take it out either. Fine. Whatever. Beast is stalking the gate. Hold on. A massive horned beast has been seen stalking near the gate. It is evidently hungry and looking for a careless colonist for easy prey. The fastest way to solve this would be to hunt it down, but trying to lure it into a trap is also an option. Uh, trap it. At, trap it first. The beast within, a few nervous colonists walk outside the gate with a large net and some weapons. The beast charges at them, but they manage to throw a net over it. The ground shakes as it trips and falls. One heavy swing from an axe dives deep into the beast's skull. Ending this incident, the meat from the body won't be the best quality, but it was, at least, not contaminated by bullets or arrows. Nice. So we got food out of that. Our food is dwindling. That's not good. Here is finished. Again, let's produce as much as we can. Maybe what is it? Two hundred? Because we need food. Oh yeah, we already read that. So it's still pandemic. Any any anybody else feeling the cold? Is it winter? How would I know if it's winter? Puts the entire colony into an alarm state. Colonies run for cover while available guards and so Oh, okay. So that's a thing. So I guess we need to build the, the thing that keeps us warm now. But again, we don't have people working on stuff because everybody is scared of the pandemic, right? We got people infected. There you are. No one's working here. No free workers. We only have one guy over here. How about these guys? There you go. Uh, don't 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 do that yet. <laughs> yeah, don't don't do the, don't do that yet. For this one, we need food, so we'll go ahead and do that. We need water now. People are gonna be thirsty very very soon. So haven't haven't we been collecting water? Ooh, that's twelve. Let's go. Uh where's the water thing? I know. I guess we didn't store any water. What do you mean? Ah, uh, damn it. Okay, I wasn't prepared for it. I 
from the looks of it, workers are at home resting or, or sick. Yeah, this guy's sick, this guy's sick. This one's at home. Oh no, at work, working. And she's working beside the small pollution. Damn it. Okay, people are being treated, so I think that's good. Yeah, we got somebody nursing there, we got somebody nursing here. We need water. Damn. Yeah, now I feel the pressure. I feel the pressure of the game. Is there a way to... Oh, finally. Thank, thank the Lord. We got through it. We passed it. It's just a matter of building more water resources. I feel so weak. Alright, she's gonna get treated. can we do food we are still gathering food clearing the area requires an operational There's environment station a ragged bunch Shuffle slowly towards the gate. They got three adults and three elders. Elders are the at risk of dying from natural causes. They can help the colony as workers or carriers, but will no longer reproduce. For sure. They have higher chance to reproduce when happy and living in a quality shelter. Okay. They must attend a school to get educated. They, you can have schools? They have 30 fuel. We used to be one nation, but now several are starting to pop up from the ruins. <laughs> Just wait till they're strong enough to wage war against each other. Uh, sure. Let's accept them. Let's accept them. We're building more uh, tents here on the side. We just really need more workers right now. Okay, we're, we're getting more. Okay. You can have one of each from there working there that's good okay speed it up we need wood we need wood we need wood i feel like this is the fastest way to get to wood this is taking a long time we have bandits at the gate bandits whoa whoa for battle okay let's see let's see the battle of this thing these people have clearly been through a lot they look frail and they're likely easy to overpower but the look on their faces makes it clear they're desperate enough to do anything <laughs> okay at the front a very a weary woman speaks up please we won't last for much longer could you spare a little food but they're bandits though Plus, we need the food as well. 30, we have 36. Give a little food, 15. Not gonna happen, we got nothing for you. There's sorrow in the leader's eyes. The group puts their backpacks down and readies their weapons. I told you we need the food. I'm sorry for this. Your command. Uh, how, how do I attack? Wait, how do I attack? What you need? Am I missing something? What you need? I obviously don't know how this is working, but from the looks of it, we won. Zero six bandits. Yeah. The colony has triumphed over its enemies. We got coin and clothing. I'm bleeding. Joseph is bleeding. Uh. 
I didn't go there. How do I get you out of the Joseph? No, not Joseph, because Joseph needs to be treated. Get treated, dude. Bruh. Get treated. Doesn't want to get treated. Fine. Be like that. Uh, I didn't get the fight scene. Was it just really random? <laughs> Again, uh, th this game is really mixed emotions right now. I mean, I'm okay with it. Uh, there's just really a lot of things to learn, obviously. Again, if you're, if you consider yourself an expert on this game, please do let me know. Like, give me tips. Uh, give me tips and tricks on how to, you know, have a better settlement. But yeah, as of now, I'm really lost. Like, <laughs> again, what was that? There's yes. bugs and everything. What on earth? What's up? Okay, this is cool. There's like a mini in-game bat in-game <laughs> battling. The calling is triumph over its enemies. Cockroaches. Uh huh. Uh huh. Your orders. Your orders. That was weird. Yeah, we need to build more shelters because we, we just need to do that. I don't understand why won't he get treated. Okay, fine. Whatever suits you, Joseph. Our deposits depleted. So that's our colony right now. Oh, here. Find the source of transmission. A colonist has managed to get a yeah, so that's that. So I feel like that maybe let's do that in the next episode. But for now, again, we just really have to focus on stabilizing our colony. But yeah, actually I wanna get to have a look at that again. So we can get basic clothing from here, science points from there, basic tools. I guess that's how. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how to click on those. Yep, totally clueless. Again, do let me know in the comments below, like if you if you have tips or tricks, you know, that I can use just to make my life a little bit easier. But yeah, anyways, that is the first episode, so I'll call it there. Um, again, if you like this video, if you want to continue watching this series, please do let me know in the comments below or simply like the video. Uh, that's enough information for me to know that people are watching and enjoying the series. There's that. And uh, again, if you want to support me, please do subscribe to the channel as it really helps me out a lot. And yeah, that's it for me for today. I'm Imaterio, and I'll see you guys in the next video.